All right, so I'm gonna start off with a blank canvas. Um, this is for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, if you don't have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, um, I will leave other dimensions that you can reference from. So whenever you're making this design or this working through this tutorial, you'll have something to fit your phone screen. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new layer and then I'm going to select black as our first color, just as our bottom base color. And you wanna just fill at uh, about 30% of the artboard. All right, so once you have the black, you don't wanna go with your yellow. Go across with your yellow. And you want to try to get the color distribution as even as possible. And then you want to go with your reddish pink. And just kind of push that a little bit further to the corner. Make it a little more saturated. And you don't have to use these three colors. This is the three colors I'm using for this demo. So you can use purple, pink, blue, orange, burgundy, whatever colors you want to use. Make sure those colors kind of blend really well because you don't want to have a muddy gradient and nobody likes muddy gradients. I think that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just, you know, make sure it's even enough. Next, we want to go to our adjustment layer. Then we want to go to Gaussian Blur. What Gaussian Blur is going to do is create that gradient for us. So we're going to pull this gradient, you know, starting from left to right. And we're going to get it to at least 65% or 70. Let's go with 70%. All right, so now we have this nice smooth gradient that we can use and work from. Now that we have this gradient, let's go ahead and adjust this a little bit to kind of give it some dimension. So we're going to go to liquify and we're going to, we're going to select edge within the liqui liquify tools. All right, so you select edge. We should slowly see that gradient create a form. It's very subtle in the beginning, but then it'll start to really show itself. So in the beginning, you want to start off with this kind of like this S curve. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just try to mimic, you know, the design style. After you have this mid S curve in the middle, you want to go to your right corner and your bottom left corner. The so top right corner, you want to make a, a quarter circle. And when you do that, it forces that gradient that we had on the top and it pushes it to the middle. So now you see a smaller gradient forming within this larger gradient. So we're going to do that uh, until you see that, that pink really pop and it's very saturated. That's when you know it's ready. So after that, you want to go to your left corner and do the same thing. Now we have this cool separation of color. So now that we have this, we can add a little bit of noise. I like to add texture to my gradients. So let's go to noise and you don't want to overdo it, you know, because if I'll show you what it looks like if you put too much noise on it. it, starts to look really grainy. So you want it to have a subtle texture. So I usually keep the noise about it. Let's say five to seven. So let's let's do seven. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this. Right, I always like to duplicate my layers because I like to have one just for safekeeping. Um, so I'm just gonna turn one of these off. Just do that. Let's turn it off. Have two, but to have one in your back pocket just in case. Right now, the next thing we're gonna do a little technique I learned a few days ago and it's kind of like making this water droplet or this bubble. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go to our color palette and then we're gonna go to navy, like dark navy. We'll grab a, a, a dark blue or maybe a medium blue, it just depends. Let's go with dark blue for right now and see how that works. And you know, sometimes design is about experimentation. If some things don't turn out right the first time, you can always try again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a medium circle right here. Just try that, just a little bit of medium circle. A little medium circle, a little bit of medium. <laughs> a little medium circle. And then we're gonna take some of this pink and add a little subtle 
pink blue drop it right there and then we're going to take our yellow so basically using the same color palettes that we've started with so trying to duplicate that and now we're going to take a tad bit of white let's throw that white in there all right so now you want to go back to your adjustment layer and then we want to go back to our liquify tool and now we want to go to expand so what expand is is going to literally push these colors out so let's try and see what happens you see that see how that forms now it looks like we have this liquefied bubble effect you have like your highlight you know your your highlight here and then you see that color separation you have that dark outline shadow you don't have to place the bubbles or whatever you want to call this in a certain space you can actually let's see um, let's rotate these to kind of give it some sort of unique appeal so everything doesn't look the same all right cool we're gonna do that and we're gonna take it a step further let's let's see if we can push oops sorry liquify let's push this so you have more of this organic lava lamp looking design. I think that's fire. All right, now we have our gradient background. We have our little amoeba bubbles, whatever you want to call them. So now that we have that, we want to we want to kind of play with the blend modes a little bit. So with that, let's do this. Um, we're gonna see what this does. I add a color dodge. And it, what that does, it kind of makes it blend in with that background a little bit. And I'm not too sure if I like that. You know, it just depends. Hard light looks really nice. That's like this deep saturation. Linear light looks really cool because those purples and pinks and stuff really like to, it starts to stand out. So let's stick with, let's stick with linear light. It looks really cool. It looks like, like a syrup droplet. So now we have that. We're almost finished. So looking at this, like, oh, well, I do like the color, but say you don't really enjoy the color. Luckily, you know, in Procreate, you can go and create your own gradient maps. So here, gradient maps, you have a you know list of gradients you can use. And the cool thing about it, your bubbles or your droplets will adapt to the background of whatever you choose. So we got Breeze, Instant, Instant, Blaze, Neon, Noir, Radiant, Mocha. This is really nice. Um, let's say you don't like these gradients. Like, I don't know if these gradients really fit what I want to do or the look I'm looking for. You can always open that up and you can change the color however you want to change it. You know what I'm saying? You can make that color whatever color you want and have that smooth, seamless gradient. Um, previously, I made one earlier um, that I used. I actually like this, this is really cool. You can see like this color spectrum in the droplets that's really, really interesting. So now that we have this cool layout and this cool design, we can go ahead and add our Apple logo. And of course, we wanna make it white. So let's take this. And we're just going to, you know, alpha lock that and just fill it in. Cool. And a nice thing about that, you can put it over the color. I kind of like it beneath the bubbles or the droplets. And you can kind of play with the blends, see how it reacts. I actually like how soft light makes it a little bit more subtle on that background. I think that looks pretty solid. And one more thing, just in case you, you see this and you're not impressed with any of the colors, you know, you're like, oh, I don't like how this is turning out. I thought I would like this. I was sadly mistaken. You can always go in your adjustment layers and you can go to your hue and saturation. And what that 
does it gives you three options or three properties that you can work around to make a brand new color without necessarily creating a gradient map or filling all the colors back in with different colors or starting over so you got your hues see how it instantly changes those colors and depending on the color you use you can see that noise texture in there so i think the further you go towards those cool colors you can kind of see those textures taking place um your saturation typically just boost the color that's what it is it's just it's just a color boost um if you go all the way down it turns gray um but those droplets will stay the same because that's on a different layer so you can bring the intensity on that bring that up but you really want to focus on your hue hue is what's really going to make that color transition so cool so now that you've basically created your own version of this you know like i said you don't have to add these droplets i thought it was a cool technique that i shared with you all since i've learned it and it actually looks pretty cool when you put it on your phone when you put it on the screensaver and it, you know you kind of see it on your phone so whenever you're ready and you're done you want to go to your little wrench tool right here you want to go to share and you can do a PNG or a JPEG. I prefer, I prefer to use um, JPEGs because it's a solid picture and not like a little cutout. I'm gonna export it. And you can either airdrop it to your phone, save it to your iPad, and then you'll send it to your phone or say if you wanna send it an email, but if you just wanna have it for safekeeping, you just save it. So usually I just hit airdrop and I would airdrop it to my phone. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new, you know, get down with the family. We learn new things every day, whether I'm looking up different tutorials to share with you guys, or, you know, I'm learning stuff from you guys from putting in the comments. It all just depends on however you wanna interact with me, I will interact with you. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, push it in the algorithm. Hopefully more people can see these videos. So. I appreciate it again. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace.